Hello my friends, Liberty Garden, Sunday 23rd, give or take a day. And today I'm done fencing a, a stretch of fence that I began a few weeks ago, but it had been raining. And even today we've had a lot of rain and drizzle, but I still decided to come out here because it was already three weeks since my last time here. They didn't want to come here and find a bunch of squatters or anything. <laughs> nah, just kidding. But anyway, um, on this corner, you know, there's a lot of debate out there, I guess, uh, on some forums, about using trees as corner posts. And uh, I decided to use this massive hackberry. That's a massive tree. And um, because it's right at the corner. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what I did so that the tree doesn't eat the wire, hopefully, is that I put these these pieces of uh, two by fours. I uh, just put an nail through the through it and um, and down and around the tree. So you can see the wire comes through here, and I left the nail head a little bit out so that if the tree grows, it'll expand. Uh, I don't know if it'll work or not, but it works for now. And <laughs> I guess the added benefit is that as the tree gets fatter or, or thicker around the trunk, which is a pretty old tree already, I don't think it's going to get much fatter than this. Well, the fence, uh, if it ever comes a little bit loose, it may, uh, the, <laughs> the expansion of the trunk may pick up the slack. I don't know. Uh, I just didn't want to dig holes here where there's all these roots and it's just real hard to dig a hole here for a corner brace. And the tree was already there, so I said, so I used it. So anyway, this, I thought I'd just share this with you. And uh, again, there's the fence line all the way to where, more or less where the truck is, in a straight line. Uh, the, the, the posts are about 10 feet apart, three, three and a half paces of mine. And uh, it's, it's a four point barbed wire, red brand. And I'm putting it, about every 10 inches uh, I'm basically using the the fencing tool which is looks like a, the one that looks like a little hammer it's just that distance in between in between um, the strands of wire so this is it a lot of work but I'm done and uh, it's all muddy and nasty right now I got about two pounds of cake on each boot of mud and uh, let's see, it's five strand. This highway has a lot of traffic, so maybe I should have done six, I'm not sure, but I think five will, will do the trick. And these were old posts, T posts that I'm recycling that they were straight enough to use. See, actually, my fence line goes right there where that marking is, and it goes straight out there. But this fence was already here, and I said, ah, screw it, I'm not gonna mess with moving the fence out a little bit more who knows if there's utilities on that side or not i know that there's some utilities that go through there so i didn't want to mess with it it's the highway so it doesn't matter it's not like some neighbor's gonna encroach on you and uh here uh those are the, the end of the recycled post and then um about a year ago i had bought these t-posts these are actually about uh seven feet tall t-posts they're a little longer than the regular T-post so you can see the difference so these are perfect for for six strand and I may do that on the other side I don't know so they look a little bit uh, a little bit taller but the, the the wire is pretty much at the same level and uh, let's see I made a stupid mistake over here you know beginners mistakes always come to bite you in the ass if you look at the at the corner brace, it is solid as a as a rock. It's been there like that. We've had real muddy real muddy uh, muddy days, and it's still pretty straight, holding pretty straight. Uh, except that on that corner brace right there, or, or the or the or the corner post, I went down four feet, and I guess I went down four feet a little more. I should have really gone down maybe three and a half feet because the decline comes from that direction to here so at this point 
it's barely 48 inches probably about 46 inches I'm a little concerned about some steer or something jumping it so I'll see what I can do about fixing that I don't even know how, how we go about fixing this without undoing the whole brace which I'm not about to do that maybe I'll put another post on the side and run a top wire using these the height of these T posts I don't know I'll see but until for now it's fenced and um, we'll see how this works this is an area where where well uh, it's just the fence it's the perimeter of the, of the, of the fence it's the, the highway so I probably need to bring it up a little a little higher but anyway what's done is done that, that was a stupid mistake I should have used a railroad tie or something bigger because these uh, these uh, posts are eight feet tall and I'm going four feet down so that leaves four feet up I've tried going three three and three and some down and, and they, they kind of lean because we're on clay soil uh, this is how the fence looks on this side so I got to replace all that crap 700 yards down that way where all those trees are cresting in the back so I'm in for a lot of work but uh, well I'm doing slowly slowly I'm working very slowly actually because I just come out here one day so it's a pain in the rear and uh, good thing is winter's coming and uh, it doesn't get too cold here so I might be able to work better in winter than in summer with all the ticks and everything else and mosquitoes and everything uh, anyway folks uh, thanks for watching and until next time